Hi and welcome to this new video. I hope you guys are going to have a great new year. And let's dive into the topic of safe searches not pulling up the data when you expect it to. So the main causes of this uh, should be the fact that the criteria within the safe search is not set uh, according to what you expect. Now just ensure that whatever criteria you are using is well, not preventing you from seeing this information. Now, the second one is the results that you're using. So let's say you're doing a transaction search on invoices and customer payments, and you want to know how long each customer is taking to pay, etc. You want to make sure that within the role that the user is going to be using to see that safe search, that they have access to these transactions, at least as a view level to be able to see them, because if they're not supposed to see them, then of course the criteria might be correct, the results might be correct, but whenever they connect, they won't be able to see it. Okay, uh, also if you're pulling up information from customers, vendors, contacts, partners, make sure that within the list permissions that you, you set them to at least view for some employees, if they only need to see uh, information about these, uh, now, uh, there is also a possibility that within your safe search, you're referencing data from custom records. Now, if the user role uh, does not allow to see the custom records data, then of course, the safe search is not going to pull this data uh, on the, the result. Now, just make sure that this is being dealt with on the custom record section. Now, there is maybe a, a couple of more uh, possibilities. Uh, maybe the transactions or whatever data that you're trying to pull up are tied to classes, departments, or locations. And maybe you've uh, set these on employees. And maybe within the employee restrictions, you said to only look at your own uh, records only, meaning your own department, class, or location data or even data that you've created yourself, basically, or that belongs to your team. Now, this could be something that's uh, preventing you to see all the data that you need. Uh, and there's also the possibility, if you're a group of companies and you're using multiple subsidiaries within your account, that the data that you need is on another subsidiary than your employee record is. So, you know, when you go to list employees, employees, you will be able to see your employee record there. And if you have an administrator access, you should be able to see which subsidiary uh, you, your access is assigned to. Now, if within the role, uh, this has been set, you know, the subsidiary restrictions has been set to user subsidiary then you're only going to be seeing transactions that are linked to your own subsidiary, not anything else. And unfortunately, when people implement NetSuite, they will put you uh, as a, an employee uh, on the main subsidiary and <clears throat> maybe even give you uh, roles and permissions that will uh, be set to use a subsidiary only. So in the beginning, it's really great because you're running tests and stuff like that. But as soon as you get other subsidiaries, then you start to miss information. And sometimes it could be quite dangerous because if you're a controller or an accountant for a group, uh, maybe you're missing some subsidiaries. Um, and this can also happen when you, you begin an implementation and let's say you start with the West, for example. So you, you've created all these subsidiaries and you, are, you, you set up the role for them. But uh, at one stage, let's say you start with a new continent uh, and you forget to update the role. So you're still going to be seeing the data from all these subsidiaries, but you're not going to be seeing the data from the next ones. So it's very important for you to update the roles uh, to be able to see information from all subsidiaries, provided it's something that you need, of course. Now, you can also, on a separate level, decide to put very specific subsidiaries, meaning you are going to be posting transactions in this. For example, maybe you are a group controller or a group accountant 
and you are posting transactions for users across all these subsidiaries, uh, that's great. But what if you want to be seeing information uh, fr from all these different subsidiaries, but not necessarily create anything for them? Then you can click on allow cross subsidiary record viewing, meaning that anything that's not selected here, you will still be able to see the information from, but you're not gonna be able to post anything in it. So it's more like an analyst view, an auditor's view, etc. Okay, so that's that's it for today. I hope that this video made sense. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I'm going to see you on the next video. Thank you, happy new year and goodbye.